go on, go on, go on. Season, it must be a real relief to get a win under the belt today. Yeah, and yeah relief is the re exactly what we feel. I think you, you enjoy wins, but we feel like we just had to get our season started. And um, we've spoken a lot about it, how difficult the start's been, um, and you just want to win a game. And like the start of the game was perfect for us today. It's the first time that an opposition's dropped in and started quite slow against us, and I felt that allowed us to get into the game. And um, whilst we were on top, you always worried at nil nil would we stop doing the right things and I think the goal came at an important time and it came at an important time in the second half as well so we are relieved because you want to get up and run in those little niggling doubts that started to creep in last week hopefully that will put them to bed and we can now start to kick on and move forward okay. Your team looked re-energised it seemed like you were first to balls and first balls and second balls so what was what did you say to your players before the game? I think there's two things obviously we it's the first time with the boys coming back from COVID, the unavailability sort of coming back today. There was basically no Liam. Um, Liam Adams dropped out this morning. Liam Marshall not here, and Keebs obviously still injured. But it was the first time we had a group that we'd had all pre-season, and it felt, as we looked around the dressing room today, like a bit of normality. And I think that gave them a little bit of confidence. I also think when you play in the FA Cup, you can go one or two ways. The side can come here and try and get all over you in the first 20 minutes and put you under a lot of pressure, or they can sit off and see how you go. And I thought because they did that it allowed us to have a little bit of confidence. And actually, the, the rain we thought would help us play, but first five minutes, I didn't think we controlled the football very well. I thought the next half an hour, uh, I thought we pressed really well. I thought the midfield three were very good and we controlled the game. And you, you felt like that was the first time since pre-season we've actually had to spell a control in the football match where we looked. And actually what we did just towards the end of the first half was just sat, sat off a little bit and maybe stopped doing the good things. So a quick chat at half time, we started really bright again and we got the second goal, which was, which was key. Who impressed you most? I mean, I thought Danny Draper looked his old self today. Toby Allen, probably his best before yeah. performance for you. Yeah, I think, I mean, it, it was a team performance, which we haven't quite had. I think uh, defensively, we were. I didn't think they tested us as much as we have been tested. I thought the midfield three were very good. We slightly changed it in midfield today, how we played. And I thought after 10, 15 minutes, um, Sam Murphy's been excellent every game. He's been, mm. he's been, in my opinion, through the end of pre-season and start of the season, he's been our best player. And the two boys alongside him were good today. They, they showed a lot of energy. And we, it meant we couldn't allow them to play. And the boys at the top, um, the two wide lads worked hard, but also they get the quality when you, when you need it. Toby's strike for the first goal is a great strike, and Drake and his ball for the second one as well. Mm. And Drake has finished the second one. If you're one nil down, two nil down, and Drake has that chance. He probably blasted it at the keeper, but he showed that little bit of composure when you needed it. Um, so it was a good team performance, but I think particularly the two wide lads, three lads in midfield, I thought were excellent. And with the unavailabilities, um, I spoke to Jack Keegan, he's got about another three weeks. Yeah. It says um, Liam Marshall will be back for Tuesday. Uh, Liam Marshall, Liam Adams will be back for Tuesday. So, uh, you know, we are getting back to where we where we should be. Um, but then you look at today, uh, John Fairweather played well, considering he's still struggling from Wednesday night. Uh, and kind of went through it with us. The worry is how he reacts mm. to today. Uh, towards the end, uh, second half, uh, Tom McLeish was really struggling second half, uh, and again went through it for us. And then that's what you need, when you really need them, and we did need them after the sending off. They, they put their bodies on the line when you need them. But the problem is with games coming thick and fast, you, you're gonna need them for the next one as well. So, um, fingers crossed they'll pull through. 
but we have got numbers coming back in, which is important. And why, why was Liam Adams? Liam, uh, Liam, Liam Madison was ill in the week, and Liam's now ill, so not COVID related, just oh, right. a sickness bug. Um, and it's unfortunate because Liam's obviously been with us all, the whole three time for the first season. He tried, but this morning sort of said no. Um, I suppose the bonus was that allowed us to get Cam Gow involved and get him some minutes as well, which which is another little added bonus. And he's on loan from. Well, P- well, yeah, I mean he's, he's with PSL, uh, but he got injured after the first game of pre-season. Um, PSL are flying, so the reality is, I think we would hope it's not a game loan. We'd hope to have him for a period of time, and of course, if it doesn't materialise there, um, he's a tough player we want in the football club. So. So yeah, hopefully we can have them for a bit longer. Okay. And how are you looking to build on from your first win of the season? Because obviously you've got Histon coming up and, and some tough league games, yeah. but also the cup now to look Yeah, I mean, the, the, the good thing when you win the FA Cup is you know, no matter what happens in the next few league games, you have a break from it again. Winning one game isn't enough, and it's, it's a relief after last season to get that early doors. But the fact is, Tuesday night is, a, is another big game. Now they've had a bad result today. We've had a good result today, so a confidence will be with us. But we know it's back to step four. There was times today I thought, with a bit of, as we were tuning up, better execution of the pass from them, and they would have got in, and at step four they will do that. So whilst this, we've won a game and we're relieved to win a game, we need to kick on from that come Tuesday, and we need to back it up. And we're, you know, great to be through in the cup, but you want points in the league. And that league already, Get, you can already it's starting to take shape with the sides we probably thought would be down there are already down there and we, we need to get away from that. And um, with players, um, the three that you brought in on Tuesday from PSL, are they available again or are you still looking well, we've, for we've, players? We've kept their registration yeah. um, for the time being and it's nice to have a good relationship with PSL. Obviously, uh, they were on the bench on Tuesday uh, so we were able to utilise them on Wednesday. PSL don't have a game this week. But ultimately, we... If we don't need to, we don't want to use other team's players because we need to build something here. Having said that, if people are struggling, we know next weekend it's Saturday and Monday. And if we take injuries into that, we might find ourselves on Monday with a really small squad. And so from my point of view, we'll view it uh, tomorrow and Monday and see where our group is. And then we'll see about the availability. Uh, We have some seven days that uh, potentially could be up to speak to. Um, so there's a lot going on and I think it's just now, now I've got a win, we, we, you don't want to make the wholesale change after a win. No. You, you want to build a bit of momentum, a bit of continuity, but at the same time you don't want to push people when they're not quite ready to do two in four days. Okay. Yep, that's cool. Thank, Thank you. you.